five seconds after losing contact with the ground, Columbia's control system was no longer able to maintain attitude. It entered an uncommanded pitch-up and began a roll oscillation. Almost immediately, the left orbital maneuvering system was torn off, and the high angle of attack increased the aerodynamic loading and the stress in the vehicle. During this time, the crew was fighting to save the vehicle, trying to restart the auxiliary power units which they thought had failed. Then the left wing tore off. It had been progressively damaged during re-entry because of the hole in the front of the wing. With more of the spacecraft now exposed to the intense re-entry heating, the core of the fuselage itself begins to sustain damage and the payload bay doors break off. The forward fuselage separates and during this, the pressure vessel is breached. The seven astronauts inside, still fighting to save their spacecraft, pass out within a few seconds, never to wake up.